Okay, so I want to show you real quick how to get some extra practice problems if you want to work on more problems for any particular section. So from the home page of your course, what you want to do is click on My Lab and Mastering over here on the left-hand side. And then you want to go into your My Math Lab course. So go ahead and scroll down here and you're going to see over here on the left-hand side your My Math Lab course home manager so you can um, actually no I don't want that that's instructor tools you you're under the student links and so student links you want to go to my math lab with Pearson eText and course home so you click on that and mine had a pop-up box so I gotta say that's okay Click that again, and it's going to open up your My Math Lab course, which you may or may not be familiar with, but it looks like this. And what you want to go to for more practice is the study plan. So over here on the left-hand side, there's study plan, and it kind of brings up some recommended objectives based on where you have gotten problems right and wrong as you're working through your homework. But if you know for sure you want to work on a particular section and chapter, you just go over here to All Chapters, click on All Chapters, and then go to the chapter you want. For example, if you wanted to go to Section 8.2 or 8.3 for graphing, you can go to 8.3. Um, I'm going to expand that. And then just pick whatever section... Pick whatever um, type of problem you want to look at in there. So maybe you want to um, graph absolute value functions by plotting points. So click in there. Um, there's a couple options in here. Um, first thing, you can watch a, another video section. I know you've already watched videos on this, so you may not want to do that, but you could do that. That's real easy to do. It just should just pop up a little video. Um, and then you can click on all the problems from the textbook that are related to that particular topic. Um, so, say so you wanted to work on number 37 from section 8.3. It's going to bring it up in my math lab form, and um, you can go ahead and work through that. Notice it also has the question help here. Um, you can go to the next problem if you like. You know, these ones are multiple choice. Some of them, though, allow you to actually use the, the graphing tool, so you can, for absolute value, you can, of course, use that V shape. So, so that's an option. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this. Um, I also want to show you that from that same area where we were at, so we were, we were right here. So once you're in that window, you can also change to other objectives in that section. So say you also wanted to work on graphing um, linear functions, you could click there, click there, and it will go to all the problems for that particular objective. And if you feel like you've got pretty good practice and you want to give yourself a quiz, by all means, that works as well. All right, so hopefully that helps um, with giving you some, another resource to get more practice on any particular problem from any particular section. Thank you.